Good morning. We have all these things that we think we have to be, all these ideas of what is acceptable and, you know, ways that we have to be to be acceptable to other people. You know, what I want to know is where the hell is the mysterious judge that is saying this is acceptable? I mean, why, you know, can't we just be ourselves? Why does it have to be tailored to be like a certain way? Why do we have to watch what we say? Because somebody might be offended. Well, how does it physically affect our health if somebody is offended? But it might affect our ability to make money? But why? So where's the judge that makes us so filled with pressure about how we have to be? You know, is it your boss? Is it the partner that you want exercising this critique? I mean, is it all about just validation and acceptance? I mean, because where is their boss? Where's the judge, you know, that's their boss? And, and how about after that? You know, so where is, the, who is the people, who are the people that are setting this idea of, of how we can be and what we can say? Somebody said to me the other day in my yoga class, I thought it was I, I thought it was cool that you swore throughout it. And I was like, I was just being me, you know, laid back, saying what comes to my mind. But that's kind of just the point. Like, what is me swearing and saying that a false idea is horseshit for emphasis and for kind of like this wow factor? It's interesting how that can persuade or dissuade somebody in their uh, assessment of the legitimacy of my character or what I have to say the legitimacy of the content I'm sharing eh, food for thought rock and roll